I decided to talk to Nancy. I found her in the library, where she loved to read. She enjoyed learning. Today, however, it appeared that something else was on the mind. Miss Jerk? I to ask you if you've heard about yesterday's occurrences. Oh, I didn't just hear about it. I was there. You were? Yes. I heard the scene and I went down to the Jerusalem Gate and wow, it was incredible. But what about later when he was tearing the temple business system? Oh, those guys? They should have been kicked out of there a long time ago. They're all just liars and cheaters trying to get money out of people who really just want to worship God. And what happened after that? He took in all those who were sick and blind and lame and killed them all. Then we all sat down at his feet and he told us this parable. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Today we're visiting the home of Mr. Dave Rockfellow. Mr. Rockfellow's wealth did not come for free. He's worked hard all his life, starting several Fortune 500 companies while tending the crops on his farm. Years later, he has a life of well-earned luxury. A gorgeous mansion, 100 square acres of land, and a beautiful family. His two children, Jamie and Johnny, will inherit everything when Mr. Rockefeller passes. So that's not for 50 plus years. God has been good to me and my family. As you can see, the Rockefeller family are well set and the envy of all. Join us next time on Lifestyles for a look at the Hilton's doggy bags. Thank you, sir. It's going to be a delightful episode. Will I see you at the Save the Puppies, Save the World convention? Yes, I'll be there. Goodbye. You really think you're going to live that long? I don't see why not. My family has all had long lives. Your uncle's going to be 102 next month. At this rate, I'll be able to old before I get to see any of my money. Your money? Dad's worked hard for that wealth, and you should be happy that we get to live in a place like this. Well, I'm not. I'm tired of living here and having people say, Oh, what is your place to champion? Or what is it? Your religion family was corrupted in that. I want to get out on my own. Well, I've never kept you here. I love having you close by, but if you think it's time for you to go, I'll look around and see if I can get you a good deal on an apartment. And then you can start working at a good job and make your fortune the way I did. Wait, I didn't say anything about working. <clears throat> the money's mine, right? Well, yes. Father, I want my share of the estate now. You're not going to listen to him, are you? He's made it clear he doesn't want to be here anymore. I can't keep him. But all that money... I promised to him. Really? Really? I'll have my attorney send you a check. Son, I wish you didn't have to be this way. Please think about what you're doing. My door's always open to you, and I love you. Goodbye. Come along, Jamie. Johnny left home with his money in the bank and an American Express in his pocket. Don't leave home without it. Johnny Rockfellow, you have just disowned your family and taken your share of the inheritance to spend as you please. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs>
You have got to be joking. So he got a job at the only place he could, cleaning up after... Pigs! No way, no way. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.